Welcome to just outside Dufftown, the single malt capital of the world. We're here for something much better than just whiskey. Of course, it's the Keith to Dufftown Railway, also known as the Malt Whiskey Line. Originally part of the Great North of Scotland Railway, the Keith and Dufftown Railway was part of the link between Elgin and Aberdeen and came under the Strathspey Railway and the Murrayshire Railway Company. Many people think that this line was originally built to carry whiskey, but in fact, this line was here long before most of the distilleries popped up. The line was shut down to passengers in 1968, however after decades of disuse, in 1998 it was taken over by the Keith and Duff Town Heritage Railway Company, which now has regular services on Friday, Saturday and Sunday. But anyway, that's enough of a history lesson. I took the time to explore these old Class 105 Pacer trains. I never knew that they had these. On the platform they had this nice map of the actual railway line. Apparently it generally follows the River Isla. But anyway, this is our ride for today. Two old rebranded British Railway Class 108 diesel multiple units. Originally built by British Rail, they were acquired in 2000 and 2001 respectively. Each have been given a name, the Spirit of Banshire and the Spirit of Speyside respectively. We had some time to kill before the train departed, so I decided to explore about. As you can see, they've turned these old railway carriages into a cafe and a restaurant. I decided to get a bottle of water for the train journey. Outside the cafe car, I saw these flavours of ice cream. I never even knew these existed. Personally, being a fan of whiskey, I think I might have to actually come back and try these. After getting my bottle of water, it was time to board. I do think it's quite funny how they've used the old toilets as store cupboards, and yet still have a sign that says out of service. I did struggle to find a seat that I thought would be good for filming. After changing seats a few times, I spoke to the conductor, and he offered me a place up front, in first class no less. Of course I accepted. After a few short minutes, it was time to depart.
line does pass quite a few distilleries, both active and disused. Of course, they wouldn't call it the Whiskey Line for no reason. This is part more distillery on the left as we depart Dufftown. As you can see by the scenery, it is gorgeous. A lot of wild woodland. The highlight for me was passing Loch Park on the left. I'm not sure the camera gets it through very well because of all the trees passing by, but it is gorgeous. Itself being a man-made loch, it is very popular for water sports and fishing. Before too long we were arriving at our first stop, Drummuir Railway Station. We were only here for two minutes before it was time to depart.
after departing, we pass through more gorgeous scenery. On the left, you can see the remains of a disused distillery. I'm not entirely sure which one this was. And at this point, our entire journey was slowed down completely. By some sheep on the line, no less. For some reason, they seemed to think that they could outrun the train. Eventually though, the sheep did seem to find their way back to their own field. And we continued on our way to Keith, passing a disused railway station that is now somebody's home. Apparently there used to be up to eight stations on this line, the Heritage Railway only operating four of them, one of them being a request stop. Before too long, we were passing the Strathmill Distillery on the left. And arriving into Keith Town Railway Station itself. Keystown Railway Station is a beautiful piece of old railway architecture that has been preserved. So that's us here at Keystown Railway Station. Just over there is the Keith Town Station and just down that line is the Keith Station on the main rail network. And there is currently a campaign to get this whole line connected up to the main network. It used to be connected to the network but now there are 40 to 60 metres of rail that have been removed from the line and all it would take is to get them put back down and have some maintenance from network rail to get it connected back up to the main network. It really is impressive what these volunteers have done to keep this entire railway open as it is. And if you're ever in Keith or Dufftown, it's something I would highly recommend you do is come on this railway. It runs Friday, Saturday, Sunday, so if you're ever in on season, definitely book your ticket. I am gonna do an entirely separate video on Keith itself, but right now, we have a train to catch. As we had 10 minutes or so before the train went back to Dufftown, I decided to have another wander around the station. The 
The guard was kind enough to let me look inside the driver's cabin. There's no digital or high-tech equipment here. Everything is manual. And after a five minute wait or so, it was time to head back to Dufftown. This time I didn't get a chance to sit in first class. For the journey back, I thought I would just let you enjoy the scenery. It was at this point on the journey back that my camera died and I had to switch to my phone. So I decided to take advantage of an open window and film the train from the outside. Anyway, I'll just shut up now and let you enjoy this like the journey back to Dufton.
Arriving back in Dufftown, that ends a journey that I've been meaning to do for years. Living so close to the line myself, it's something that I've always wanted to do, but just never got round to it. So there we have it, the Keith to Dufftown Railway. A truly incredible piece of history that has been preserved by purely volunteers. If you're ever in the area of Keith or Dufftown, or even just you're visiting Murray for the Whiskey Trail, I would definitely recommend you come down here and have a look at this. It is a superb day out. Anyway guys, that's all I have time for for this video. If you like this video guys, please consider giving it a like and please consider subscribing. It really does help out the channel. And as always people, we'll see you in the next one.